wrong i am sick of this flat having no food you knew these next couple of months were gonna be hard to so stop complaining plus there is food i'm not living off of cornflakes and beans for the seventh time in a row we need to pull all our money together and actually get something decent in okay but we'll do it later i'm going back to bed no no it's 7 a.m you've woken me up and lynn is still asleep so no We'll do it later. It doesn't matter what time it is. We're all gonna eat at some point today, so we might as well get organized. Early bird catches the worm. It's really hard for me not to hate you. It's all for a good cause. Now, grab your purse, I'll go and wake Lynn. Oh, and make some tea, please. <sighs> Morning. So it's been a couple of weeks now and none of us have managed to get any work yet. We knew it was going to be hard but it's just harder when we have no money but patience is key. Well, I would have more patience if I was able to go back to bed and not sort my life out at the crack of dawn. I can't believe you've woken us up for this. I'm surprised Mel didn't bite your head off. It's not too late. I think we should invest in a tea pot. That's not important. We need to spend our money on necessities. And now that we're all up, we might as well get the day started. You're really annoying me. Right, open your purses and get your online banking ready. We need to calculate how much we have to last us the rest of this week and the next two months. God help us. Hmm. Now I have managed to save two months rent and 500 pounds extra left well we could all agree tea has the most money let's hurry up my bed is calling me it's called being smart and knowing how to save you're really poking the bear i have a month's rent and 200 pound extra which should really go towards the month after's rent who taught you how to save because you're failing in that department. When did Mel's mum enter the room? Oh, oh. Right, I have a month and a half of rent. That is not the same at all. What are we going to do, guys? At this rate, we're going to get kicked out, especially since we're covering an extra flatmate's rent. I was just going to ask my parents for money. Yeah, my mum was going to send me some. I thought the whole point of this was that we were independent and worked hard for ourselves. We are being independent. We still have no jobs. I was going to ask Damon for some extra monies as well. Gross. No, you can't do that. Trish is right. The more desperate we feel, the harder we'll actually work to achieve what we want. This isn't what I signed up for. There's nothing wrong with asking for a bit of extra help. Don't even think of cheating, Melody. Asking your mum to buy you stuff instead of lending the money. I wasn't. I can see you texting her that. We can do this. It's all about strategy. Oh god, not another money-making lesson. Yeah, you need it. They don't teach you this in school, how to survive being unemployed. Even when you do get booked for a job, it takes like a month to even receive the first paycheck. So they should be teaching how to pay bills and save money so that you can avoid lectures from your friend. Right, take notes. Oh, Viola Davis, help us. How are we supposed to stick to this plan? I won't even be able to buy my daily lunchtime sandwich and cup of tea. You can make it here and take the tea in a flask. 
addiction is not flattering. Says the one who just drank four cups of tea in one hour. What has life come to? Yep, take the extra spends away and we'll be fine. We'll save more and actually have money for some decent food instead of all these carbs. I'm gonna have to become an escort. Melody! I was wondering when things are gonna come exciting again. Well, it's easy money and I'll be a higher class escort. Guys, I'm joking. I can't do that to my Damon, but we could sell our underwear for money. I'm up for that. There's the guys out there that will pay £50 for one pair and if you leave skids and other stuff they pay extra. I saw it on a show. You need to stop watching that show. I'm traumatised. We're not doing that guys. We'll be fine. Stick to the plan. Well, we all have auditions this week. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we better bloody hope we get them then. I'm gonna go take a nap. I need some beauty sleep for my audition later. Even though some people are trying to sabotage me. Stick to the blood. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if we've ever explained this, but for those of you who might not know, when you start out in the industry, you need to audition to get the jobs. So, basically an interview. And when yeah, you so you go into the room, show them what you've got, perform the material they ask you to prepare, and let them judge you. It's so lovely. A nap. You just woke up. Don't judge my lifestyle. I need a full eight hours sleep. Right, positive vibes, guys. Peace out. I need some moolah now. I am not cut out for this lifestyle. You're being dramatic. Says the one screaming before about bloody beans. Seven times in a row. Exactly my point. We'll be fine. We just need to stick to the plan. Well, it better work, otherwise we're going to have to sell our underwear. And you can test out the products before we send them, because you like to be in charge. That's disgusting. Come on, I was joking. Sometimes I think my jokes go to waste. when my lunch is pasta with butter as the sauce. At least it's moist and it's edible. Anyway, we're going to do a food shop when Mel gets home, so quit complaining. How's the job hunt going? I am a hunting tiger waiting to be fed. <laughs> I have three auditions next week and two more this week. Great! I feel like we're all on track. Fingers crossed. Yeah, my fingers and toes have been crossed since we started this thing. Same here. I'm worried about Melody though. Why? Well, I'm worried she's not going to stick to the plan. You know how she is with money. You can just say it. Mel loves shopping. Well, yeah. Well, we better hope she just doesn't want to buy anything new. Mm. Hey! hey! Are those shopping bags? <laughs> yeah, you can clearly see that. What happened to not spending money unnecessarily? Well, I finished my audition early and I need to pick up a few bits. Plus, we can afford it. No, you can't. None of us can. Lynn made me do it! Here it comes. The chaos. What? Look, if I'm in trouble by this dictator, then you're gonna be too. I only asked you to pick me up a few bits while you're out. I didn't tell you to buy those Tim like this. What the hell? With my birthday coming up, my dad put some money in my account. Well, not running to parents lasted about two minutes. I didn't! Melody, you're the one who always goes on about how we need to support one another. And we do, but money's a little different. It isn't. If we're supposed to be getting out of our comfort zone, we shouldn't go running to mummy and daddy. Oh, stop! All I bought was bloody boots. You two aren't taking this seriously enough. I'm taking this very seriously. We all are. Well, act like it. Instead of being stupid. Why are you so rude? At the end of the day, we're all adults so we can do what we want. Just because you can't control what jobs you get, doesn't mean you should control us. And what is that? No, no, no. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. We shouldn't be spending money on a few bits, but you're being ridiculous right now, Trish. Me? And I can't believe you would throw me under the bus just to make yourself feel better. You're a joke. I'm not. And you two can continue shouting, but I'm not going to stand here and take it. I 
I can't believe she just walked out. Well, you were being really harsh. Well, you two don't seem to get it when I'm being nice and helpful. Look, maybe I was a bit harsh, but with no jobs, limited food, tensions are running pretty high, AKA everyone is on edge, including me, but I am right. get what she's been so anal about. Imagine, I could have got that KitchenAid that we've been talking about for ages, but I didn't give in to temptation. I just hope this ends in a couple of weeks. We're supposed to be getting headshots done with Trisha's friend. Oh, you don't know what that is. It's basically what every actor needs to apply for jobs, get agents, to put in programs for shows. Long story short, a big photo of your big head. And to see if you have that Star power, that voila, that twinkle in your eye. I know what you're thinking. I should just say sorry for buying all that stuff, and I will. But I'm not saying it first. Hello. Hi. What? I can't believe you're so stubborn when you're in the wrong. Huh? I can't hear when people shout. You can't hear or listen at all. Have you ever thought that maybe I'm not in the wrong? Maybe it's you? Hmm? Oh, hmm? shut up. Hmm? I'm sick of hmm? you. Oh, and I just poured the tea you made down the drain. <gasps> She's really trying to hurt my feelings. I was watching that. No, you weren't. You were on your phone. But I was listening. Well, you can't do both, selfish. Well, that's ironic coming from you. What is that supposed to mean? God, you love to complain today. You can't always get what you want. You spoiled. What the hell? And the fact that you two haven't apologised to me, even though you two are in the wrong. You and Melody should be apologising to me. You two have been rude non-stop insulting me because I didn't listen to you. I didn't sign up to live with Mel's mum. But if you were listening, you'd realise I am trying to help you. Well, you've got a funny way of showing it. No, I don't. I just go about it the mature way instead of going around acting like Kim K. Oh my God, it was a few bits. Mm. I am done talking about this. Where are you going? To meet some friends. Well, try not to spend your life away. Oh wait, you already have. <coughs> I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. Does anyone want one? Yeah, please. 
Keep hearing one for yourself. Yeah, thanks. Right, I think it's time for a flat meeting then. to go first. Right, I'll go first then. Look, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you two. I do realise it's hard living with no money and basically no food. So we should be pulling our money together and not buying pretty, pretty boots. I'm sorry for acting like a dictator and shouting and stressing at you guys. It wasn't necessary, and at the end of the day, I can't force you not to get money off your parents. I guess there's no harm in asking for help. No, you can't, but if we do, we should buy some food for the flat, because that's what you would do for us. We said that we're going to help each other from the start, so that's what we should be doing. I'm sorry I called you two bitches. What? When did you do that? Oh, never mind. Let me be serious. Well, I am sorry for being rude the other day, but it's hard when we're all struggling for money and there's nothing we can do but help each other. I know, and I understand that money is a touchy subject, but if we stick to Trisha's plan and maybe bend it here and there and help each other, we'll survive. Hear, hear. And the landlord said we'll be getting a new housemate in about three months, so he'll cover the rent for the fourth person until then. Mm. So I guess we don't need to worry too much. Yeah, I saw the email. Thank God for that. And I've started putting my teas in a flask. See, it doesn't kill you. No, but the tea connoisseur in me is so disappointed. So, are we friends again? Yeah. yeah. Yes, because you guys have been missing out on my bedtime stories. I've quite enjoyed having a couple of PG-12 nights, to be honest. Well, now that's cleared up, and before we start hearing about your weird, kinky stories, can we bring our attention to what the hell Trish is wearing? Yeah, why are you dressed like that, and why are you wearing that wig? Girls, you have to dress the part that you're auditioning for. What, like a roadkill, or is the part you're auditioning for sure? A detective in a short film, and for your information, I just got an email, and I got the part. Well done! The first of us to get a part and the lead role. Even though you do look like trash in that wig. Uh, well, they thought I'd suit a civilian character better. Okay. She is pivotal to the whole story, though. She is the main victim. Oh, that's amazing. I'll help you prep. Have you got lots of lines to learn? None. Are oh, you playing the corpse? At least I've got a role. Oh, okay, okay. Someone doesn't want their buttons pushed. Decent money. Well, playing a dead person is clearly the way to be a successful actor. I'll play the best dead person ever. Oh yeah, T. I sold your underwear, the one with the skids on. What the hell? Oh, I'm joking, I'm joking. Well, no, I did sell your underwear, but it had no skids on, unfortunately, but I got 50 pounds. <laughs> OMG, we definitely need to get on board with this. Mm -hmm. It could be our side business. £50 for one pair, it's disgusting, but that is a lot for worn Primark underwear. That is so gross, I'm not getting involved. And don't touch my underwear! Me and Damon have <laughs> Guys, this is hard. Yeah, it just seems to be getting harder. I know, and even though I've just got a roll, all the rejection, no money, it's taking its toll. I understand, but if this is what we want, then we have to keep trying. We'll get more jobs soon. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Well, two more months to go, ladies and gents. 